Hello friends, I'm back in America. Now, there are many amazing things you can get in rural Thailand. New piercings. Gongs. Pure adoration. Really, I get told I'm beautiful like constantly. It's fantastic. You should all try it sometime. But quite unfortunately, there's one thing that it is very hard to come by in rural Thailand, and that is consistently good internet. So quite sadly, I was really out of touch with YouTube there for a while. I didn't really get to watch a lot of videos. I obviously didn't post a lot of videos. And I missed you all terribly, but truth be told, it was kind of nice. For those of you that don't know, I did my master's dissertation on YouTube musicians and authenticity and blah 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 smart words. And to do research for that, I really just sat in a chair all day reading YouTube comments and sending emails. And it was amazing, but I think I kind of got YouTube overloaded. But now I'm happy to be back, and I'm happy to catch up with all of your lives and all the videos. And I got to go to Playlist Live. Playlist Live was interesting for two reasons. One, I was supremely jet-lagged the entire time. The second reason that Playlist Live was interesting was because I had been so far removed from YouTube for so long, I didn't know any of the videos anybody had been putting out, I didn't know any of the new people that have emerged on the YouTube scene, I didn't really know what was going on in the community, I just knew my friends, and I was excited to go see my friends, and that is exactly what I did. And you all know me, I physically cannot attend an event without making new friends, and I met some glorious new friends. The first new friend that you all need to, you know, go be friends with is Mike Falzone. I met him the first night at the VIP party, but we didn't exchange names. And then the next day, I went to see Megan Tonjes play because she is a fantastic human being who sings beautiful music. And then it was like, oh, Mike Falzone's on next. And I was like, hey, I've heard that name. People have talked about him. Let's see what he sounds like. And then it's a super fun guy that I met the day before, and his performance was one of the most delightful things I've experienced in a very long time. And then at the party that night, he came up to me and he was like, hey, I don't remember your name. And I was like, hey, I don't think I told you my name, but now I know your name because it's Mike Falzone because I saw you on stage and you're so delightful, so let's be friends. I was a hand model in Thailand. Blah. And that's how it went. So he's delightful. Go watch his videos, and buy his music, and see him on tour, and all those things you do for delightful people. My second new favorite person from Playlist Live was Daily Grace's brother, Tim. Now first off, I had no idea who Daily Grace was, but I got to Playlist, and all my friends were just going on and on and on and on and on about how fantastic this Daily Grace is, and then I met Tim, and he was like, I'm Daily Grace's brother, and I was like, I don't know who that is, um, but then I met her later, and she was fantastic. He is such a delightful person though. He brought me never-ending entertainment with his pretend signal flares and then rolling on the floor through the hallways to get away from the fire that the pretend signal flare would have made. I don't know. It was amazing. Also, he wore really short yellow bathing suit trunks. Uh, also fantastic. And he hit a girl in the face with a clementine. So that was cool. 